Hello, everyone. Welcome to the BIM Practice Online Classroom. From this lesson, we will begin our specialized study of stairs. In this lesson, let's draw a double flight stair. The task for this lesson is, according to the provided stair plan and section, create a stair model, and based on the plan, establish a stair section model at the indicated location. The baluster height should be 1,100 mm, and the style of the baluster is not specified. Save the result with the file name Double Flight Stair. Other modeling dimensions can be determined with reference to the given plan and section. According to the given plan and section, it is a double flight stair with a step height of 158 mm and a step width of 260 mm, each flight having nine steps. The stair baluster height is 1,100 mm. The flight width is 1,270 mm, the stairwell width is 60 mm, the half landing width is 1,820 mm, and the story landing width is 1,600 mm. The thickness of the exterior walls of the staircase is 200 mm. The thickness of the half landing slab, floor slab, and stair slab can be determined as needed. The level of the half landing is 1.422 meters, the level of the second story landing is 2.844 meters, and the roof level is 5,700 millimeters. The height of the entrance door to the staircase is 2,150 millimeters, and the width of the door can be determined as needed. Save the file with the name Double Flight Stair. Below is a demonstration of the drawing process. One, first, we create a new project, and you can choose either architectural template or construction template for the new project. Once the project is created, double-click on South Elevation in the project browser to switch to the South Elevation view. In the South Elevation view, complete the drawing of the levels for the first floor, second floor, and roof according to the section. Two, in the project browser, expand the floor plan views, double-click level one to switch to the first floor plan. Under the architecture tab, select the wall architectural tool Use the rectangle command to draw the exterior walls of the staircase according to the dimensions shown in the plan. The exterior wall thickness is 200 mm. After drawing the exterior walls, start drawing the stair. 3. Under the Architecture tab, in the Circulation panel, select the Stair by Component tool to draw the stair, and in the Properties panel, Type Selector drop-down menu, choose Monolithic Stairs. Click the Edit Type button in the Properties panel to open the Type Properties dialog. Copy a new stair type and name it Stair. Edit stair parameters, maximum riser height 158.0 mm, 
minimum tread depth 260.0 millimeters. and minimum flight width 1,270.0 millimeters. Leave other parameters unchanged. Click OK to finish editing the stair type. After editing the stair type, in the Properties panel, set the base level of the stair to level 1 and the top level to level 2, with a required number of 18 risers. To ensure the accuracy of the stair position, first draw reference planes according to the dimensions and positions shown in the plan. After drawing the reference planes, start drawing the stair. Click Run and select the Straight Run command. In the options bar above the Properties panel, set the location line to Run, Center, the actual run width to 1270, and check Automatic Landing. Click the midpoint of the lower run position to draw 9 steps of the lower run. Then click the midpoint of the upper run and use the same method to draw 9 steps of the upper run. While drawing, pay attention to the gray text prompts on the side for the number of steps to avoid mistakes. After drawing the run, click to select the automatically generated half landing, left click to select the drag point, and drag the landing to the inner edge of the left exterior wall. After drawing the run and the half landing, select railing from the tools. A railing dialog pops up. Click the drop-down button of the default bar, select 1100 mm, set the position to treads, click OK to finish the railing settings, and the railing is automatically generated. Finally, click the check mark in the mode to finish the edit mode. In the first floor plan, left-click to select the railing near the wall, and press the delete key to remove the railing near the wall. This completes the drawing of the stair. 4. Draw the staircase door according to the position shown in the plan. During drawing, please note that the height of the door should be 2150 mm, other dimensions can be determined as needed. The door should open towards the inside of the staircase, and the opening direction can be adjusted by clicking the space key. Five, after drawing the staircase door, enter the 3D view mode. In the Properties panel, check the section box. In the drawing area, select the section box and drag it to the corresponding position as shown in the plan. The stair section model is now created. 6. Finally, click the Save button, rename the file to Double Flight Stair, and save it on your computer.
this completes the task. The following points need to be noted during drawing. 1. Understand the stair drawings, know the levels of the stair and the dimensions of each part, and correctly set the stair parameters. 2. When drawing the runs, pay attention to the position of the location line. The selection of the location line's position will affect the selection of endpoints. Three, to create the stair section model, you need to enter the 3D view mode and check the section box in the properties panel. That concludes this lesson. Thank you for listening. See you next time.